Now, the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu and Ohaneze Ndibo, a social political group, have disagreed over the modus operandi of community policing in the country. The IGP spoke at the end of the Southeast Security Summit held in Enugu, saying special officers will be recruited as community police. They said these officers will be under the control of the Nigeria Police Force. The IGP said, and I quote, the community policing model is one that will draw on the legal opportunities provided by the Police Act for the engagement of special constables who will be engaged as community policing officers under the coordination of the Nigeria Police Force towards evolving a community-focused policing architecture, end of quote. However, President General of Ohaneze Ndibo Nyangwodo disagreed with this position. He appealed for the creation of Southeast Security Force to be known as Operation Ubunigwe. And now again with me in the studio is still the security expert, uh, Dixon Osaji. It's good to see have you here. Thank you. Uh, the, we, I mean, we can't have enough of security matters because they're just staring at us. Every yeah. day, you know, we see a new form of it. Uh, every day we see a different phase of yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, do you think uh, really uh, it is necessary for these states to come up with their own, especially uh, the Southeast? Because some will say, is it in imitation of Operation Amotekun? Well, uh, Amaka, right? Yes, you're correct. Yeah, you see, um, we really do not uh, understand uh, where uh, we have been perceived in the global world. Hmm. And uh, when you go into statistics, uh, you discover that Nigeria is the 15th most dangerous country in the world. When you also go into statistics as well, you discover that uh, Nigeria is the third most affected tourism state in the world. Are you with me? After Iraq, Afghanistan, mm. Nigeria number three. We are doing so well negatively. Wow, and, uh, we are time, doing so well negatively. negatively. Each time uh, we have this uh, report card uh, from international uh, organization, uh, what I expected our government to have done is that they should have set up a committee to analyze this report. Like when we were in primary school, uh, when you come first, second, third, or fifth, or whatever mm. position you come, if not first, positively wise, uh, your parents will have to bring you back home, analyze what went wrong, mm -hmm. why did you came fourth, why did you came fifth, are, are you, don't you have the same head with the person that came fourth? Yes. You know, it's a kind of a, a mitigation factors for you to do more better. That's but right. each time we have this report card, we'll just go back home and sleep. Some years ago, we were the seventh most uh, terrorist affected nation. We came fifth, fourth, now we are third, number three. And uh, that is not a good limelight uh, because it's, it's, quite going to, scary. Yeah, it's quite scary. It's going to also affect uh, social development, economic development, and also um, uh, the way people are going to be perceived in the international world. Uh, it's, not, it's not a good one. Like some few days back, I have privileged uh, information of the mayor of uh, Canada trying to come to Nigeria. It takes the government of Canada to approve his departure mm. to Nigeria because of the risk implication in this country. Now, coming back to your question, uh, the uh, vulnerability we have in this uh, uh, part of the world is that uh, we have limited resources uh, policing a majority of the state. Mm. Over 200 million people against 371,000 police uh, officers is an intentional energetic failure. Wow. In the sense that, uh, uh, and out of these 371 police officers that are governing the, this great nation, uh, I was coming this morning, uh, early this early in the morning, I saw uh, maybe an expatriate or whatever the case may be, plying the highway with escorts and about seven to eight mobile police were giving him escorts, which is to say that our policing function has been monetized, has, has, has been uh, uh, politicized. And uh, if you give a police uh, escort about eight team to a, a Nigerian or an ICE party, whatever the case may be, our security has been defeated because the essence of police is to police the people, not to police the elites. Hmm. Because whatever the case may be, the Nigerian police have a role to play in also uh, revamping their own architecture. Giving escort services should be given to maybe other security agencies, private security agencies. In America, in England, where these people travel to, you can't, when you get to go to foreign land, you can't see our airlines with escort. Who's going to give you escort? Who? The government will use their tax money to mm. pay the police. The police will not give you escort and you pay the police for services. That is not done. We need to also uh, look into the police structure and ensure that uh, the police uh, uh, service are well monitored so that they will give us the desired uh, police. Then the Amoteco. Mm -hmm. Operation mass destruction. I like that name, but I don't know the uh, the people they want to destroy uh, because Maybe we need the to, enemies. Yes, because it. Amaka, you see, people fail to understand something that security is not about enemy centric. 
Security is all about population centric. The essence of policing or security is not to kill the enemy. Because if you want to kill the enemy, you will kill till eternity. Hmm. Crime can never be eradicated till the end of time. Crime can only be mitigated. And that is why those mitigation strategies must be put in place for you to ensure that you win the confidence of the people. Now, the system in which this Boko Haram are using to excel and they are gaining more momentum is their political strategy. The Boko Haram use persuades, they, they are, they persuade our people, they uh, coerce and they also subverse. Unfortunately, I have to wrap up. This is getting interesting, but we have to go.